Welcome, my name is Jeanette and I'm from Case Flower School. And I just want to give a little talk today on floral foam. So when you go into your local flower shop, this is how they will have their floral foam maybe on display or this is how they actually buy it in or purchase it in from the florist wholesalers. There is different brands of floral foam and the one I'm using today is from a company called Chrysal. Now Chrysal is probably more known for preservative for flowers, but in the past few years they've actually started to specialise in floral foam and to be honest we're finding it quite good to work with, we're using it all the time. If you do buy it by the box load, there will be 20 blocks in a box and this is what a block looks like, so that's the size of a block. So you'll have 20 of them blocks in a box. Now normally on the box there will be a date, okay, so you can see on this date, on this box here, it's of the 5th of the 7th, 2018. Now I would normally say to people, add on approximately 6 months from the day that you buy it, so this would be more important for somebody who's buying it in bulk. Where I find with the floral foam, it stays fresh for approximately 6 months. So if you buy a box and you kind of like find that maybe it's dated for February and say whatever month you happen to be in, you're in the month of August or September, October, maybe your six months is already used up. So it is something just to check when you're actually purchasing it in bulk. Normally when you're buying it from, I'm just going to drop this down here. Normally when you're buying it in from a local flower shop, there's normally not a problem because they're using it consistently. They're massive turnover and you can normally find what you purchase from them will be fresh. When you buy a box, or sorry, a block of floral foam, there probably will be a name printed on it. So this one here, because it's out of the Chrysal box, it actually says Chrysal across the top of it. That way you know that you're buying a good brand. Another kind of like well-known brand would actually be the Oasis brand. Sometimes it'll have Max Life on it, and that's a good one to buy. Maybe if you buy a block and there's no name on it, so this is just the opposite side just to show you it's smooth, I would probably avoid buying a block of floral foam that has no name on it because to be honest you're not really sure what company and what manufacturer has used it. A lot of people ask me about how do they cut the floral foam, like it's really easy to cut. Now this is a little Oasis knife or floral uh, foam knife that you can buy and this one is from a company called Oasis. But to be honest, a knife out of your kitchen drawer at home that maybe you use for peeling potatoes or chopping up tomatoes would be absolutely fine. There is quite a small blade on it, but normally the block is marked out. So you can see this one here, it's very, very lightly, but it's marked into a third. So a lot of the containers that we use um, commercially would normally fit either a third of a block, a sixth of a block, or a half of a block. So if you want to cut this block into a third, what you just do is you follow that line. Now you'll see that the knife doesn't fit all the way across the block, right? So I'm now just going to slice down along the line and I'll do the same over here. And then all you have to do is just grip it with your hand and it just breaks real easy. So that's how you get your three thirds out of the block. Now when I go to use floral foam, I prefer to trim it. Because as you can see, like it's square or it's rectangular shape and you have all these corners. And it's very hard to like um, camouflage or cover it in with foliage. But also when you're trying to make a particular shape, there's very few shapes you're making will actually be square or rectangular. So I prefer to get the knife and cut off the corner. So I just kind of go around the block. Now, it makes no difference do you do this when the foam is dry or when it's wet. It's obviously easier to do when the foam is dry because this is all rubbish and it'll be easier to get rid of this rubbish when it's dry. Another thing I like to do to the foam is I trim around the top. So as if I was peeling like an apple or a potato, I just go around the top there and I take off all them sharp corners. So again, more rubbish to get rid of. So I find when I go to make a floral arrangement, I find the floral foam now is much easier to work with and I get a better shape and it's easier to camouflage and to be honest, you, use, and you end up using a lot less material. So that's our untrimmed block and there's our block that's trimmed already. Now, this is obviously just for demonstration purposes, so this container is quite small. Normally here in the school we have massive big buckets and containers that we use for soaking our floral foam. But it was just to give people an idea like how you actually do it. So normally on a larger scale you fill your bucket or your container or your sink at home or your bath at home. You fill it up with water. Now some of the Chrysal foam already comes with flower food already part of the material. Some of the blocks that you purchase won't have flower food already included, so I would advise you then to add flower food to your water. 
So this is what the flower food looks like. So again, this one here is from the company called Chrysal, but Oasis also do a flower food. Now when you're buying flower food, there's different grades. You have grade one, grade two, and grade three. So this is the grade two one that normally the flower shops use, um, especially like say from the suppliers to the flower shop, it kind of like um, prolongs the life of the flowers and kind of holds them back a little bit. Where the number three is really to get the flowers open. So this might be more for the consumer or especially if you have a wedding on and you're trying to get your flowers to blow, your, get your lilies open, get your roses blown up a little bit more. Maybe the number three might be better for you. So open up your um, flower food. And what I like about the Chrysal brand is there's a little measuring spoon inside. Now, Chrysal or flower food, it just looks like sugar or like, a, you know, I mean, like flour, to be honest. Now, you'll find the quantities wrote on the box exactly how many spoons to use per litre of water. At a guess, like normally say here in the flower school, I would put one spoon to a vase of water that we use. And I use two spoons to a bucket of water that we're using. But really at home, I would advise you like to work out like, you know, what I mean, how many litres, how many pints you have. And then you can um, work out exactly how much flour food to use. So for this quantity of water, I'm just going to use a half a spoon. So this is approximately here. So I'm just going to add that to the water and it'll normally just dissolve itself. I haven't got a spoon. I'm just going to use the knife. Just give it a little bit of a swish around. Hint, normally what I do is I put the flour food into the water, into the empty bucket first, then pour in the water and I find then it dissolves better for me. The temperature of the water, room temperature is perfect. You will find in the winter time if your water is icy cold, it does take a little bit longer for the floral foam to absorb the water. So how long does it take? It takes approximately 60 to 100 seconds. So if the water is that little bit colder, it will take that little bit longer. So what you're now going to do, I'm just going to use this small block here, right? Is just drop the block of Oasis into your water and then just watch it go down. Now, sometimes this can be like watching paint dry. It'll be the longest couple of seconds in your life that you'll ever spend when you're watching it. And you would be mad tempted to help it and push it down. Definitely don't push it down. Let it go down on its own. So you can see because that's only a third of a block, it's not taking any length at all. And you can see now it'll be absorbed all the way through. Probably just leave it for a couple of more seconds. Now, once it's wet, you're ready to use that. You could leave it for a couple of hours. You could even leave it overnight. It would be no problem. But I wouldn't recommend leaving it for a long period of time, like say as in a couple of days or a week. Because what you'll find is after a couple of days, it starts to disintegrate. So the rule would be soak as you need it. So if you're ready to use that block now, well then it's ready to go. Now I'm just going to show you that when I take it out of the water, I'm just going to cut it in half. So I'll just cut it here behind. So again, I've just done the slice and I've cut it. You can see now it's wet all the way through. Now for people that maybe make a mistake, they get a block of, fo of foam and what they do is they shove it down into the bucket of water. And if you look here, you'll see that there's bubbles coming up. You see all the little bubbles. So they're all little airlocks. And normally what has happened, so all these little airlocks have formed or been created inside the floral foam. And then you can see when I take my finger off it, it's inclined to float, right? No matter how long I leave that floating in the water, it'll never get wet all the way through. When I cut this, like I know it's in a shorter amount of time, but to be honest, it won't make any difference. When I cut this one in half, you'll see that it's still dry, right? Then what happens is there's air in the oasis and all the little air has air bubbles has moved to the top and that section is always going to stay dry. So what will happen is when you go and you make a flower arrangement and you stick your flowers in, they're going to be in that little dry section and they're not going to get any water. So sometimes people are making a flower arrangement and they've soaked the foam wrong themselves, you know the way, and they don't realise that inside it is all these little dry patches. Especially with a larger block, it would be more obvious. As I said, that was only a small block. But if I was to get this large block and plunge it down into the basin of water, you'll find that there'll be lots of little segments inside it. So what will happen then is they make the flower arrangement and they wonder why did that side of the flower arrangement stay perfectly fresh and why did that section there did all the flowers dry or die. And the reason being all them particular flowers are all in a dry section of oasis. If you ever have a problem, and especially like maybe that you have soaked a full block of foam and maybe it's yourself, maybe it's your kids, whatever, have um, pushed it down into the bucket of water and you've seen all the bubbles and you realise that there's actually air locks or air bubbles inside the foam. There is a trick to get rid of it. 
If you boil up a kettle of water and then pour the boiling water over the block of foam, obviously make sure it's inside a container when you do this, and like be careful because obviously the boiling water can be dangerous. But if you pour the boiling water over the block of foam that has been wet, but has air bubbles inside it, the boiling water will burst the air bubbles and will make the water penetrate through the foam and your foam will be perfect. But what I would advise now to do is drop the foam back into a bucket of cold water. Because if you think about it, your foam now has boiling water or hot water inside it and you don't want to go ahead and make a flare arrangement and then obviously all your flares are going to die because you're drinking hot water or boiling water. Hopefully you've picked up a few tips there or a few tricks and um, maybe I've answered some of your questions. But obviously if anybody has any questions in relation to foam, just feel free to drop me an email here at the school and I'll answer you back, there's no problem. Our email address is info at flowerschoolireland.com. But also go to our website. On our website we have a blog page and I've lots of like free tutorial videos that you can download whether it's how to make bows or how to get oasis into containers or how to tie up um, bouquets using hand tied string. So our website address is www.flowerschoolireland.com. Thank you for watching.